let's check out some text-to-speech platforms, where the AI takes our text and turns it into beautiful spoken words, or hopefully. Fake you. Let's pop some text in here. And this is how all AI text-to-speech platforms should work on the home page. Have a spot where you can drop in some text, pick a character, and hit speak and see what it sounds like. So let's see what we've got. Welcome to the toolbox, where I maintain a list of creator tools so you can find what you need with no nonsense. That's interesting. Welcome to the toolbox, where I maintain a- Okay, I guess that's supposed to be Mickey Mouse. Welcome to the toolbox, where I maintain a list- That sounds like Cartman. Now, in the terms and conditions of fake you, not only does it tell you you can't use their service for illegal things or attempting to impersonate or mislead or anything like that, it says this is a research technology for fun. You may not use fake you deepfakes for commercial use unless otherwise stated and only with specially denoted commercial voices. So that sounds like you would only be able to use voices that are marked in here as commercial use. I see lots of voices in here. I'm not seeing an indication on them that they are or are not allowable for commercial use. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. The fact that there's 3,975 to choose from is pretty impressive. We do have a handful of different languages here to choose from. Waiting for the category filters to load to see if the uh, commercial indication is marked there. And I've been waiting for these category filters to load for quite a while now and they are not loading. So so we're going to move on because who has time for this mess? Pricing for this fake you deal plus text to speech, unlimited generation, but up to 30 seconds audio, whatever that means. Voice to voice, up to four minutes, maybe that's at a time, I don't know. Wave to lip, which I believe is like lip syncing, up to a one minute video. For $15 a month, we get five minutes of audio, private models, and two minutes of video. Fake You seems to have some other things going on, not just text-to-speech. They have this video style transfer that is currently on a wait list, but apparently you can upload a short video and have it transferred into one of these other styles. They have the text-to-speech. They also have voice-to-voice, -voice, so you can change your voice, voice designer, where you can create your own AI voice. The face animator will animate faces with audio, and I believe that is along the lines of lip syncing. I'm not going to upload a file, but they have a sample here, so let's take a look. Welcome to Fake Use Face Animator. Upload an image and an audio file to get started. Okay, so upload a, uh, an image and an audio file. That might be one path to one of those talking avatars that people seem to be so fond of these days. And they also have a text-to-image generator. I'm a little leery of what they're doing with all these obviously copyrighted voices and saying that you can't use most of these voices commercially. That's kind of a problem for content creators because we're not making videos just for fun. We're trying to tell a story and use them in our business. So that's no good. I understand they're saying there are commercial voices in here, but I'm not finding them very easily and it's more hassle than I need in my life. So moving on, we'll go over to Natural Reader and Natural Reader has three products. They have the personal reader and the idea here is this you can use as a consumer, as a reader to have it read websites aloud to you, PDFs, read books, whatever you can find on the internet or files that you have, have it read to you. Education is geared towards schools and universities and then they have the commercial which is what we're looking for, where you can create voiceovers for business use. And let's take a look at some of the voices they have. Natural Reader Commercial allows users to redistribute their created audio files for commercial, public, and business uses. Natural Reader Commercial allows users to redistribute their created audio files for commercial. Natural Reader Commercial allows users to redistribute their created audio. Natural Reader Commercial allows users to redistribute their created audio files. Natural Reader Commercial allows users to redistribute their created audio files for commercial, public, and business uses. Natural Reader Commercial allows users to redistribute their created audio files for commercial, public, and business uses. Natural Reader Commercial allows users to redistribute their created audio files for commercial, public, and business uses. Interesting. This means created audio files can be... We can add emotions and effects, so let's see what that's about. So they have some emotion options here, shouting, unfriendly, hopeful, cheerful, sad, whispering, angry. And then they have some advanced tunes. This is pretty interesting. So it looks like you are able to add pauses, emphasis to certain words, pitch, increase by a certain amount, and change pronunciations and volume. So that's pretty handy. And it looks like we can change the speed as well. So good on them. Pricing here at Natural Reader is free for one user, zero 
$0 a month. The single plan for a single user, $49 a month. That's if you pay yearly. Go monthly, it's $99 a month. Woo! Not a huge fan of when they double the price if you don't take up the yearly subscription. And if you do want to use Natural Reader for commercial things, including YouTube videos, you have to use the commercial, uh, not the personal or the education. Now, there's no indication here of what the limitations are. I've looked through the FAQ and I see nothing that says if you have a certain number of characters or words or minutes per month or per year or what have you. So I'd be curious about that. The voices sound decent and if this is unlimited, it may be worthwhile. I'd want to know for sure if that's unlimited or what the limitations are before I went forward with it. Now let's look at Play HT, and I've talked about this one before, and when I first found it, I thought it was really promising. There are a lot of voices in here, big variety, and more conversational style speech. Since I've used Play HT in a few projects, I've found that I not only end up with it not conveying in the way I want it to, which you'll find in most AI text-to-speech platforms, but I also get a lot of artifact and garble when I use Play HT. I'll go to my files here, and I'm not sure why, because I know I've generated more than what's listed here. Cats have been companions to humans for thousands of years, yet they never cease to amaze us with their behaviors and abilities. Did you know that cats have a special skill when it comes to communication? Each cat develops a set of vocal signals that are unique and meant to communicate with their human friends. The voice is really good. I liked that, but I wasn't a big fan of that extra noise that just didn't seem to belong there. The text-to-speech voices in PlayHT are still pretty good. They've added some new ones. Hey, I'm Will from Amazon. I'm calling in regards to the laptop stand you ordered last week. We've just, you know, rolled out a promotion and... It turns out that the product you bought is now at a discounted price. I like that they add in the sort of normal speech pattern stuff, maybe an uh or a like here and there or a weird pause, but sometimes they don't they just don't come across as genuine. Hey there, this is Melissa from Amazon Customer Support. I hope I'm not um catching you at a bad time. I was just calling to let you know about that doesn't sound natural to me at all. Hey there. Uh this is Will from Amazon customer support. I hope I'm not um, catching you at a bad time. I was just calling to let you know about like a special discount on a product you recently purchased. I thought you might, you know, want to hear about it. Please call me back. That guy sounds like he's either sitting on the toilet while he's making this phone call or he should be. Once upon a time in a magical forest, there lived a little fairy named Rosie. Rosie had shiny wings that sparkled like the stars in the sky. Fantastic storytelling voice. That was really good. You have to make it to the exit before a toxic gas is released into the lab. Ready or not, you only have 30 minutes. I know we can do it because I believe in everyone here. You've all got a particular skill set that can get us in and out of here. Some really nice, unique, uh, authentic sounding voices there. Again, my issue has been that in some of the hesitations and filler words that are added intentionally, which I'm totally fine with, it's supposed to make it sound natural. Sometimes it just comes across really, really strange and out of place. Now, when it comes to pricing, uh, the free plan is 12,500 characters. Once you run out, you run out. You can't use it for commercial use and you do need to use attribution. The creator plan at $31.20 a month gives you per year about 70 hours of audio and you do get commercial use. The unlimited gives you unlimited characters per year and unlimited regenerations. That's $79.20 per month, $950 per year. But if I'm not logged in, if I just come to the PlayHT pricing page, there's a deal where it's $29 a month rather than $79.20. I'm not sure what's going on with PlayHT. They started this, uh, I first noticed it, um, between Christmas and New Year's, that they had this deal which makes Unlimited cheaper than Creator, and forever it had a thing up here that said it's ending in, it was a countdown timer ending in one day and however many hours, that timer just kept getting reset. And it's been a couple of months now, and I guess they've gotten rid of the timer but just switched it to limited time. It says normally 99, 29 on this limited time deal, but over here, if I I want to upgrade from my account, it's $79.20. So that's all kind of weird. Now we have TTS Maker, which is a free text-to-speech tool. Everybody loves free, right? Let's hear some voices. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. Okay, not bad. 
TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that Ooh, TTS so Maker is Terrible. a free... Some of these you see are unlimited and some of them are like 3,000 characters unless you upgrade to Pro, that like 3,000 characters per conversion. So 3,000 is the most you can put in this box at one time. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. Uh, that one's wild. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. Very robotic. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. I don't know why he's so angry. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. Okay, that one's sounding pretty good. So let's do something here. We'll drop our text in, in. Every time you generate speech, as near as I can tell, and maybe if you're logged in or you've upgraded or whatever, you don't have to do this, but if you just come here and want to play, every time you want to generate, you got to enter this code, whatever code it puts up. If you want to conserve on your character quotas, you can try this uh, listen mode where it'll only convert the first 50 characters. I guess that way you could tell, you, you know, if it's something where you can tell right away the voice is no good for you, you could avoid using up more characters. But for the most part, I need to hear a sentence or two of what I'm trying to do before I can, you know, make any guess as to whether it's going to work or not. You can add background music. I'm not really a fan of that, so I don't do that at all. And you can make some tweaks on the speed, the volume, uh, the audio quality, the pitch, and the pause time between paragraphs, each new line. It's handy that they have some customizations in there. Now let's hit convert. Oh, and my verification code expired so enter the new one welcome to the toolbox where i maintain a list of creator tools so you can find what you need with no nonsense uh, that's okay i'm not super excited about it but it's all right i can insert a pause here if i want nothing there really needed a pause so we're good and then just click here to download your file if you want to lift these uh restrictions Per conversion, they do have this pro upgrade. It also gets you some advanced voice settings like emotions and speaking styles. So on the free version here, you have a maximum of 3,000 characters per conversion and a maximum of 20,000 characters per week. Cool that that's not per month, it's just per week. So that resets a lot quicker. For eight bucks a month, you get 250,000 characters per month, which they say is about five and three quarter hours of audio and 10,000 characters per conversion. And you don't have to deal with the uh, CAPTCHA. So you won't have to type in that code every time you generate. That's not a bad deal for eight bucks a month, especially if you like any of the voices in there and commercial use is included. This one interestingly does allow commercial use even in the free plan. So that's, that's a plus. If you're looking for free, this might be the place to go. Those were based on monthly pricing annual well that's not bad at all five bucks a month if you pay annually gets you that light plan that we just talked about did you know that CapCut has text-to-speech? It works a little different, but it's there. So you need to have a video in here first. I just grabbed this stock video from the CapCut library. And then if we add some text into our timeline, just drag this down here. That's on the screen now. Now that we have that selected, up in the upper right-hand corner, we have text-to-speech. And you have a whole bunch of voices here that you can pick from. Default text. Default text sounded terrible, so I changed that to we're having a great time at the beach. And let's go back to text-to-speech here. We're having a great time at the beach. We're having a great time at the beach. We're having a great time at the beach. These are all ladies here. There we go. Female. We're having a great time at the beach. We're having a great time at the beach. We're having a great time at the beach. And I'm clicking through some here that are available in the free cap cut and also some that are in only available with a pro subscription. You can tell they have the big pro label on them. We're having a great time at the beach. They do have some interesting voices. Here. We're having a great time at the beach. We're having a great time at the beach. We're having a great time at the beach. So there we go. Let's play it with the video, see what it looks like. And it's been added. We're having a great time at the beach. We're having a fabulous time at the beach. Now that's nifty as can be. So when I created that text to speech and right there before I applied it, I checked the box that said, uh, keep it updated with the text. 
Sure enough, I came back here and changed great to fabulous, and now... We're having a fabulous time at the beach. It's all updated, so that's pretty cool. Are you using any text-to-speech at this point? And if so, which one's your favorite one? Am I missing any really great ones? Let me know.